Thanks for clicking through to another session of Tech Talk with my friend from FPM3, Adam Oldfield. Adam, how are you today? Hey, I'm top shelf, Greg. And Feeling we're good. here. We're here. Yes. Thanks to the generous support of AML Communications. AML, who is a Rogers authorized dealer in Ontario and the East Coast. And we have lots of fun things that we get to play with. You don't, you didn't bring anything today. No, not from today. Them, but no, they, we we've been. There's a few things I'm waiting off, and then I'm going to be like saturating them with yeah. lots of. Things. <laughs> like we got Windows stuff and and all these things. So uh, we're yeah. going to have to probably put an addition onto this studio so that we can accommodate all of the paraphernalia. We're going to put a shelf over here yeah. with my <laughs> with my new BlackBerry toys and yeah, all that kind of stuff. You know, something I want to talk about. I've always wanted to talk to you about it, mm -hmm. and, and we've never really come around to that subject. But you know, internal to the chamber in my operations here, um, and I sense this with a lot of business people out there that were a little bit concerned about two things. You know, continuous upgrades to our internal programs and on our yep. servers and all of that kind of stuff. And I made the decision a couple of years ago to move our database to the cloud mm -hmm. um, only because of, of security, not so much security issues, but maybe security issues around my own organization because I have a crash in my server and oh my gosh, it's a catastrophe and you know right. how people panic and sweat. Um, but the big three are up to something pretty interesting with cloud computing and what's going on and and I can't wait to the day, Adam, where I can move absolutely everything. All I need to provide my staff is just an internet connection and everything's out there. Well, let, let, let's start off with where the cloud vision came from. The cloud vision was originally built in the press premise of doing uh, a couple things. One, make you a little more efficient and more productive. So uh, it's easier to say, oh, let me give you access to that file anywhere mobile so you can be able to share it instantly. Mm -hmm. Number two is you don't need to upgrade your software anymore. So the old days of, did you hear that Microsoft uh, Office oh, uh, 2007 came out? Oh, I'm using 2005. Oh, can <laughs> you save the file and those days are going to be done and the cloud gives you that capability to be able to say here's the word document and we're no longer asking well what model of software do you need to make it open mm -hmm. so those days are where the cloud's taking it and advantageous for small business is the fact that uh, you don't have to go around to say even a small business with four guys you don't need to sit back and click the update button and wait for three hours yeah. for it to update so all of that efficiency productivity is being saved in this theory of the cloud system so anyway we are one step closer to this to where this is going and you know there's going to be a future segment we're just going to talk iCloud and cloud general mm -hmm. computing but that's a general scope but what's happening and this just kind of relates to the trend where things are going is exactly that Google just announced recently that they've now gone Google Drive uh, Google Drive is basically a cloud operation mm -hmm. uh, it's going to give you five gigs of space and anything above that you can pay extra for okay and it's fairly reasonable but they don't give you as much hard drive space but their prices are a little less who else is in the game well Apple's been in the game for years. They've, they've always had that uh, iCloud mm -hmm. system or me or, or, you know, when you signed up, it gave you the opportunity to sign into their little system. So Apple's been around a while with it. And, and then Microsoft just came out and they've got their systems. And so the battle right now is who's going to be your cloud provider? Who's yeah, going exactly. to give you access to the storage and give you access to the files and so forth? So Drive coming out right now, what they've got is a very aggressive level. For $30 a year, that's $2.50 a month, users get 25 gigabytes, okay? So you get 5 gigs for free. Yep. You get 25 gigs for only $2.50 a month to use it and Picasa, which Picasa, by the way, is Picasa's that system that allows um, your Gmail. Yep. It's like a, a, a spam program and so forth. So you get basically 25 gigs of Gmail storage and you get 25 gigs of document storage. So 50 gigs total. So that's more than what Amazon and Microsoft charge, okay, for an extra 20 gigs for Dropbox. Um, and Apple or Apple and Box.net, there's many options. There's Dropbox, Box, there's Apple, there's SkyDrive. All these are all out there. So basically Google also offers 100 gigabytes of drive space, okay, and that's $60 a year or $5 wow. a month. So 100 gigabytes is a lot of space for documents. Yeah. I mean, it, it can be filled up fairly fast, but here's the caveat. If you make your documents uh, in native Google, meaning you sign into the cloud, you actually type a letter yes. in the Google format, no drive space is used. 
So it's wow. only if you upload a PDF, a JPEG, or a native document on your desktop yes. that it actually takes up drive space. So that five gigs could be very limited based on if you use their native Excel, I call it Excel, but their spreadsheet program, yep, yep. their document their program, program, and their presentation, in yep. their Word program. I mean, we're gonna just slam the copyrights <laughs> of Microsoft to, to compare Google, but that's what people can relate to. Yeah. So that's important. What also is happening at Google, though, that I find very interesting is the world just got this big. And they just announced that uh, in 2006, they came out with Google Translate. And, in, and at that time, uh, it was I used it quite a bit because I, I did deal internationally with my agency and you know now it's not only is it so close to being hitting the mark I mean of course there's breaking adjectives but it's getting better they have announced uh, specifically that they are now getting 200 million monthly users online oh. with respects to communicating and using their service to translate so and they're accessing it outside the US and via mobile devices so they're logging in, they're basically getting everything translated, and 64 languages are being translated, <laughs> including, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please, dun, 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 Yiddish, uh, Bengali, and Esperanto. <laughs> Not that I ever had the never chance to Never had much of a use for those uh, translations. Well, my Yiddish maybe, is... Maybe, <laughs> never know. You never know with the global community coming closer and closer. Well, the key is, is and, and where I use it specifically is is that when, I, when I've when i looked at using some outsourcing or yep. I've gone to China, um, you know, that broken English now can be very streamlined yeah. and you can communicate very easy. Right now, Google Translate does one million. It's equal to one million books are being translated a day. Wow. That's how much it's being used. So that's interesting on that side of it. So the other side is Apple right now announced just recently in their quarterly announcements that they sold 35.1 million iPhones, 11.8 million iPads in the fiscal second quarter. And what makes this important is that is Apple losing its ground because anticipation was that the iPhones uh, projected 12 Point three to 13.5 and they only sold 11 million I mean I know that's a tough crack to kind of handle I feel but sorry for them. they're off by 2 million I think the stock I'm might drop. I'm a Blackberry guy so I'm I'm good with it. Well that. and again they, they figured they would sell 30 million iPhones but sold 35 million so somewhere it equals out. I don't know the profit margins but that's pretty uh, crazy. So we won't be holding any tag days. You know what yeah stand by I think I, I don't think we're all going to cry for uh, Apple at the given moment right? No. So anyway there's a a few things that are happening in that th th that's pretty much the key components of what's happening with the big three at this given time so wow. I'll have lots more coming up though Greg. that's so. cool if you want to go walking in the cloud talk to my man Adam Oldfield from FBM 3 I'll take otherwise it. thanks for AML for providing this opportunity and that's it for Tech Talk thank you